ever, the only man to have run faster was Steve Lewis when he won the Olympic title in 1988. But this is the first of the three semi-final heats. The first two, plus two fast losers, will progress to the final. Carabo Savanda, the second ranked of the Botswanans, is in this. And uh, there is uh, Taha Yassin of Iraq, he's in lane two. Ocetti of Italy is in three. Walton of the Cayman Islands is in four. Bailey, Jamaica in five. Savanda, heat winner, the Botswanan in six. Montgomery, he too, a heat winner, is in lane seven. Kitadani, Japan is at eight. And Zambrano of Colombia in lane nine. Just going through the participants here, here is uh, Sean Bailey, 46.51, his lifetime best. So he is actually out of the world's top ten. Sabanda, 45.40, his fastest ever time, so he really is a contender. Not quite as quick as this man, though, Kamari Montgomery of the United States who year after year, whether it be at junior level or senior level, really produce some outstanding one-lap runners. Although it's worth making the point that they haven't won the last three stagings of this event, and it has produced some outstanding winners when you look at them. Michelle Cedeno in 2014, he was the winner. Deguelin Santos, 2012, and Karani James in 2010. And, uh, all three of those men have well, got on almost seamlessly to produce or uh, turn out exciting performances at senior level and uh, forge very successful careers almost within a matter of months of leaving the junior ranks. So the uh, first of the three semi-final heats, you've seen in one, Pachetti in two, Walton in three, Bailey is in lane five. Zabanda in six, Montgomery in seven, Kitadani in lane eight, Zambrano in lane nine. The athletes in the first two lanes have yet to break 47 seconds. The likes of Zabanda and Montgomery, well, they are capable of running close to 45. Peter Kamari Montgomery, the American, the fastest man in this heat, but he's already been caught and passed there by Sabanda of Botswana. Well, Sabanda, look at him, tall and powerful, and the American, well, he's gone off, he's just about last at the moment. He's cruising down the back straight at the moment, is Kamari Montgomery, but he will get a shock. He perhaps won't have been concerned to see Sabanda go past him, but when he realizes around this top end, there are other men moving fast. He'll start to have to hurry, and he is hurrying now, is Montgomery, but it's Sabanda the Botswanan, away and clear, standing way over six feet tall, and here comes Montgomery, and you have to say it's been a very strange race being run by the American here. He's going to sprint easily into second place in the end, but you do have to wonder if that is the most economical way to run a 200-metre semi-final. Carabo Sabanda was outstanding, though, wasn't he? Well, that it were a 200 meter semi final. Yeah, Sibanda there, very, very impressive indeed. Nicely measured race and a personal best. A little extravagant, maybe, Martin. Was it necessary? 45 1 5. Well, I don't have that down as a personal best. Uh, in fact, it was Montgomery's best was 45 1 3. So it is a personal best for the uh, young man, Sibanda. Look at him, long and lithe, and Montgomery ran the strangest race. Why on earth he ran with such lethargy over the first 250, I don't know. He seemed to recognize the danger here, but then he met real uh, resistance from Zambrano on the outside, the Colombian in blue, nearest the camera, who is tying up badly, but uh, you're right, Montgomery's expended a lot more energy over that final 150 than he needs to have done if he would have spread his energy uh, more evenly over the full 400 meters mark and I'm sure that has a detrimental effect on performance I'm sure there's more lactate in lactate in the muscles well there's bound to be because I think if you just run it at 95 percent through the first 200 meters you're building up enough momentum just simply then to almost cruise through the last 200 what he's done he's gone off very modestly indeed he's actually had to kick and work really hard in the second race in the second half of the race so Zabanda 
confirmation of that lifetime best. In fact, three lifetime bests for the first four athletes.